don't know if anyone's on Facebook at the moment, but I thought I'd do a quick live in the old greenhouse. Things are starting to pick up a bit in here now, which is good. We got um I'm loving this plant in here. It's a let me try to remember what it's called. Names in here somewhere. Where are we? Well, aha, uh -huh, look. Tiny hiding. Naga Viper Brain Strain. This was a seed from America. Papa seeds or something. Papa peppers. But the uh, leaves are huge. Look at that. Hand cover. Purple as well. I topped it not that long ago. Mainly because it added aphids on top. But it kept all its little pods there. So little flowers growing very slowly. It's just started branching out from the side here. And uh, yeah, it's getting some nice growth on it now. It's starting to take off. Someone's watching. I think it might be Stu. Hi Stu. Thanks for inviting people, mate. Um, we've got a purple naga viper brain from... That one came from Jean, actually. Um, just start, I've only just repotted it into this pot, so uh, we'll see how that one goes. This is my chocolate reaper. This, I think, came from America as well. I mean, that's pretty beast. I topped it again because of aphids, but it's nice big leaves. I mean, for a chocolate reaper, that's hopefully going to put out some lovely pots, and it's in one of these little bag styles. I thought I'd try it once. It's got a good stem down there. A few leaves probably could do with removing a few of those. But that's a... Uh, yeah, that one. Oops, just snapped one of the big leaves. Quality. That's a chocolate reaper. We've got chocolate bismarck. Uh, is that Bismarck? That's from America again. Um, that one's been topped not that long ago. It's a bit small, but it's doing all right. It's only been potted recently. That's a chocolate ghost, which doesn't look very happy on that one, to be fair. But we'll see. I'll leave it and see what happens. We've got this one's uh, another one from America. This one's the Purple Massacre. Again, this is a bit of a skinnier version, but it's this nice. It's got a couple of flowers about to start on it. And we won't go into this one. White Naga, this was a spare. And it's just been sat at the back here, I just found it. So that one needs just been watered. Got one up top here, I think it's just a KN producing a couple of pods here and there. But yeah, it's just a little KN, nothing special. Loads of pollen coming out of it. Lovely. That one's a monster bonnet, only just potted it up, so we'll see if it. Oh, it's got a couple of pods there already. Yeah, it's getting somewhere slowly. We got a good old Scotch bonnet from B and Q, which will probably turn out to be a bishop's crown or something like that. But I topped it because all the leaves were massive, but they were just turning over. So I took all the bottom leaves off. So it's got a huge stalk on it, and this lovely. When I topped it, as you can see in the middle here, probably I topped it in there. And it's got like a one, two, three, four, five, what about seven branches coming out the top, creating that lovely look. Spiderwebs. Um, so yeah, what else have we got in there? We got, this one's growing quite nicely now. It's starting to pick up a few longer branches. This one B, A, chocolate naga, nice. And I've got a flower or two in there somewhere. There we are. We've got this little bad boy here, which is two little dinkers. That one is Chocolate Apocalypse. There's two of them in there, so we'll see if they take off. Might have to split them up, but I thought I'd try a double pot. We got, what we got in here? Lee. Ah, Hot Ghost from Lee. That seed came from Jamie, I think. That should be, they were meant to be really, really hot last year. So we'll see what happens with that one. Um, a nice one growing in there as well. Some good leaves on that bad boy. We've got a chocolate reaper again. See if that one does anything good for us. Fairly good sized leaves again. Um, these are just like extras down here. Little dinky ones that never really grew. Look, aphids. Let's just top that now. Get rid of those. Um, yeah, there's a few bits down here. That one's from Jean actually. I need to pop that up soon. Habanero lemon. What else we got down here? Some other bits and bobs. Chocolate nagas again. Another couple of KNs. Chocolate butcher lockers. No aphids, which is good. We've got chocolate butt again. Something else. I think it's a monster bonnet. Chocolate bonnet, apparently. Maybe I need to pop that one up soon. I'll get that out. Pop that one up tomorrow. What else have got in there? That was my one I lost my card for, so it's like a special. 
what we've got up here we've got another chocolate reaper I've potted up just to see what happens we've got purple UFO just had a couple of pods on this from somewhere it's just starting no not that one there's a couple in there somewhere anyway um, we've got me let me just move a couple of things oh shiz sugar in here we have me boot there she be with the uh, what's this one? Oh, jalapeno primo and they've got a few flowers on it it's not huge but it's got they just these leaves are like thick tough rubber and they just they just keep curling up I mean it gets watered it gets plenty of sunshine um, it's got a couple of pods one there and there's a bigger one on the back I think you can't really see it that well but there's one in there too look there she be boot looks lovely thank you mate I'll send you the boot afterwards it might be your size stewy stew uh, what else we got in here we've got another chocolate reaper there a little one not as not as growthy that one but it, it is getting there so when it's I'll put a pot on at some point we've got a chocolate naga brain I've just put in this massive bucket so we'll see what happens with that. At the moment, I've got a few flowers, but it's quite small. But I'm not going to pull the flowers. I'm just going to let it go and see what happens. At the back there, that big one, nice big plant there is that. That's pain. That came from um, Andrew Morphy. Uh, he's got quite a few pods, loads of flowers. But I think last year, Jamie Bolton said they were bloody hot. And so did um, uh, Andrew. I mean, they were really, really good last year. Um, and obviously another one of Andrew's here is his white naga last year's was absolutely massive So we'll see what that one does this year I did mean the plant in the boot. Hey, <laughs> I know we all know you like a welly. Don't worry a welly not a yeah um, This one is my two year <gasps> sugar don't drop it all two years old now uh, Get it through the actual greenhouse two years old Crackdy method one that I had in, inside in a grow room. I mean, this is a beast this year, and um, there's loads of pods on it. But most of them, this was a caramel scorpion originally a couple of years ago, but they were like small purple little lumps, you know, like this sort of thing. Look, there, quite strange. I think uh, Jamie Bolton had a couple of the larger ones off it last year, but it only, first year in Crackdy, it only grew like, I don't know three or ten chilies or something real simple but this year it is absolutely caked in f pods everywhere flowers everywhere more pods 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 growing and one of them even looks like a naga there's two of them actually look there's that one there this one's definitely like scorpion-ish possibly a bit gnarly as well actually um but one of them through here looks a bit more like a naga than anything else this one look uh, and if I turn it around, I mean this it is caked. I've chopped the roots down twice to fit in the bucket still. This side you've got a couple more like that, purple and greens. But this one's got a bit of a funny shape to it. Again, another pod there, pods there. Just snap something off. But yeah, just flowers and pods everywhere. So I'm hoping that I'm gonna get quite a few this year out of this. Another one there, another couple through there. They're just nice little tails on them as well. But yeah, they're just, it's just caked. So that's one of my crackly ones. And if you want to see the roots, have a look underneath here and have a quick look. Yeah, as you can see, the, the big yellow bucket's not the great outside because it does get a bit of sunshine in there, but all it is is chili focus, but it's absolutely loving it. Um, and I cut this down to, well, it was totally look. I cut it right down last year. I'll put it back and get the other one out. Let's put it back in here somewhere oh. I'm stack it up where it was don't know how that was now I'm confused I'm gonna snap it I was trying to uh, put it back there we go all right that one sits there like that at the top and then I got this bad boy here this is a fatali no one really likes them no one likes fatali everyone curses them but Again, two years old now. I mean, the stem's pretty nice in there. Pretty chunky. Might even turn it into a bomb tree one day. But yeah, it's got... There's pods all over it. But 
Why am I getting wet? Hold on. My hose is getting me wet. Nice. I don't know where. I've got a hole in it somewhere. Yeah, um, it's got a nice big. They're just turning now. Some big pods in here again. But again, a huge plant, which is, you know, it's not massive, but it, it's, it's got a lot of growth. I've de leaved it about four times. Oh, hello. Um, and it's just starting to throw out a few more flowers again now. It's got more pods there growing. And some more pods there, that one's ready to be. Oh, I just knocked it off. Okay. Just lost a pod as well. Um, but yeah, it's got a nice shape to it. Yeah, it's good size. Probably need to pull the ripe chilies off of it now, actually, give the rest a good chance. But yeah, she's a bit of a beast. Let's try and get that one away. Ugh. I don't know where I'm going to put it because there's not a lot of space in here now. I might just turn it this way. Like so. So yeah, that's that. So yeah, there's quite a few. Some of them are coming. I do like these dark leaves. They're bloody lovely. Um, but yeah, there's quite a few dark leaves. And uh, this one is a nice dark one, Yaki Blue, Yagi Blue, that was another one from Jean actually. And that one is my Purple Tiger I think, Purple Tiger, but it just doesn't want to grow. It's in a good sized pot for the size of the plant, but it's got some flowers on it now and whatnot. But it just doesn't, it, I've been pulling the flowers off for about two or three, maybe, I don't know, the last two or three weeks, maybe a bit more. And it just keeps throwing flowers out, but just will not grow, even though I pull them all off. So we'll see what happens with that. We've got down here. Ooh, KS Lemon. Nice. That's starting to get a bit of growth to it now, which is good, but still. I potted it in a big pot too early, really, so it's slowed down. And the black lager. That's going to be hopefully a nice one. That was from America, I think. But um, yeah, it's got a nice size again. And then over here, we've got my uh, Dorset Naga, which. You all know I did in this big water butt. And I've got an air pump in there now that screws to the wall. Little tiny air pump on a solar panel up here. And just runs, it's got two stones in the bottom pumping out air. And it's finally, I mean it's been here probably about three weeks now. And it wasn't happy at first, but you can see all the new growth everywhere. And there's a new roots, nice. There's the liquid. Two stones and bubbles going on. But first ever pod I ate live. In fact, the first pod of what I ever ate. Ooh, but that was a lovely pod. I haven't tried a purple um, tiger yet. Looking forward to that. But yeah, I'm hoping if there's enough time this year that this Dorset Naga, I want it to, I mean, it's a big, deep pot. It's got to be 1.2 high. So I'm hoping it gets to, you know, I want a good size out of it. Like, I want a proper good size. But we'll see. It's, it's starting to take now, so I think another month and this should just go crazy because once it gets used to this um, crappy method, well actually it's DWC now isn't it because it's got a pump in it but it's only a little pump, I think it cost me 25 quid for the pump system on a solar panel and at night time it saves its power and just pulses all night so we'll see what happens with that this, these are my tomatoes, they've gone absolutely, I mean they are girthy in there the stem is huge um not only money makers but i'll be using them in my jams so i'm happy with that um but yeah they got the size of these stems in here they are huge and it's proper i mean they're curling up mad like really badly curling up but i don't really know what that is it's had a bit of tomato feed but apart from that it's only on water um and i pinched out all the suckers early and i pinched out a lot of the flowers early it's just starting to throw more out now. This one's doing a bit better with the flowers. More everywhere, really. But um, again, leaf curl. So if anyone's got any advice on tomatoes for doing leaf curl, please tell me what to do. I think it's been really warm recently in here, out here, so. Yeah. The rest of it's just a few other bits. I've got my bon bonsai style um, acer that I'm trying to shake with wire as you can see, and then I'm going to put it in a proper big bonsai dish soon. This is my little bonsai wisteria. Nice. We'll see, look at the roots on that bad boy. See what happens with that, at root over rock. Maybe next year that'll put out some flowers. Little tucky under there. Another acer. Got some thyme. I don't know what time it is. Got some thyme, we've got some 
rosemary, got a conker that planted a couple of years ago, my little one. Loads of strawberries, nice. Lovely, got some raspberries, first time I've grown raspberries this year. I think this came actually last year, I got this from Jean, a little, little stump it was. And uh, yeah, throwing out some raspberries now. Um, this one's I think a blackberry. It's not really doing much this year, but maybe it's the wrong time of year. I've never grown blackberry before, so we'll see. Uh, lilies, the messes thing, fuchsia. Some acorns that I planted with a little one. Another tomato plant. That's the same plant as the other two, same time, but I didn't pot it up, and it's completely tiny. I use cow mag on advice of Kevin to give to stop my leaf cow banging. I've got cow mag, lovely. There's me uh, red robin. That flowered like an absolute beast this year. Every single one. I spent three years trying to get it to flower, and this year it went mental. I mean, they've gone now, but it was mental. We wisteria growing up and over. Trying to train it. It's about seven years old now. Just coming up top, and the same with this side coming up. And then at the, and that flowers each year still, which is nice. And then at the back there, I've got me grapes, and they're going to hopefully I'm going to move that shelf down as it them over the throw them over the top of the pergola because when we sit here, when we sit here with our sofa thing, I want to have all the wisteria purple flowers at the front. Try and move back so you can imagine it. I want me purple flowers both sides coming over the front, and then I want the grapes coming over the over the top and sort of hanging above us. Yeah, it's looking alright, isn't it, Stu? It's, uh, it's taken a few years to get it and googling every plant to try and make them last more than one year so I've had to learn how to look after each one like when to cut when not to cut when to repot and what soil as well because things like the I think they're like a nitrogen rich soil so I put in some other flowers in inside it as well these ones the misses I can't remember what they're called now California lilacs and they don't like the nitrogen rich soil so they this one doesn't grow very well in the pot you get flowers for about a month and then they, they go off again but they have a stage of looking good but now they look shocking same as that one over there so i might replant them at one point they're going to be hard to replant now because the wisteria roots are going to be massive in there and i don't want to ruin the wisteria so i don't know what's going to happen with that yet but yeah so hoping to get some nice i think they're dessert grapes i think if i remember rightly there's a couple i think yeah there's some growing there that Slowly getting some, I think there's some more here. Somewhere you can't really see it on the camera. There's a couple more at the top, so we might get a few grapes off it this year. Last year I had one bunch, but we'll see. A couple of crappy leaves on there as well, actually. Let's get rid of them now. But yeah, getting there. I'll quickly, I won't go inside actually because the kids are doing their homework, but I've got a lot of bond cheese inside as well. But I'm really looking forward to this. This is going to be an absolute, I'm putting all my faith into it. Let's go. All right, Jamie. Oh, I haven't forgot about this, Benzano. Yes. That's the old ricotto, or ricotto, whatever you want to call it. It's got some lovely flowers on it. Nice big purple flowers. And we've already got a couple of pods. Very small. But they're, uh, they're getting there. There and some more flowers. There's a couple more pods up top here starting to grow, so hopefully it's in there, the old air pots. But hopefully that will produce quite nicely. I will take you inside quickly because I want to show you my cool pods. What have we got out here? Let's go have a look. Well, we've got the grow covered. Little grooties in here. He's not doing very well, so I put him in here. I topped him and took all the bottom leaves off. And um, it's just been sat ever since. It hasn't done much at all. Oh, the cat's out. Amy, can you get the cat? He's going upstairs. I don't want him going out the window. Um, another bonsai here. It's like a cherry bomb one. Bon chi. See what happens with that. Go another bean cue special. Chili chocolate. Who knows? Um, these, I don't know if you guys remember me posting these when I did them. I did like a little tutorial pictures and stuff. This is a chocolate reaper. And the roots are pretty damn long. But it's just a small plant at the moment. And then this side, this pot's going nuts. This was my trial with three different plants in one pot on the crack D. It's, it's drank, well, look, all the way down there. It's a bit scaly now, isn't it? 
It's very warm in here though. What we got a what we got in here? We got Yaki Blue, purple ghost. Spin it around without breaking anything. We got a Dorset Naga in there, which is this one. Nice big growth on that. And then spin it around again. We got a lemon star kiss. Lemon star, there she is, calm star. And again, these are the roots on these are lovely. Look at those bad boys, nice and clean, tidy. So, yeah, I might even put them outside soon because the other two have gone nuts out there throwing pods out left, right, and centre. So, I think if I put these two outside, I think they're going to go nuts. Let's move that onto there. Good boy. Anyway, that's in there, but as you can imagine, boiler, electric cupboard, fan, two light bulbs, and it is hot. It's got to be. 28 30 in here it is warm so it's probably why they're not i mean they're growing but not massively these are a little trial of the old jade plant a few leaves going on rooting and stuff like that that one's dead um but there's a few coming through now which is good little trial again <coughs> jars and bottles and then what we got up here up the stairs now this is what i want to show you i'll turn the light on well, that light's not very good, is it? That not very bright. Anyway, this bonchi here. I love these pods. You hopefully you guys are going to agree. If I can get it to stay right, it's a Vitali bonsai. Yeah, bonchi. As you can see, a few roots, a bit of a funky shape to it. But look at these pods. They look like skulls. Look at that. Get to focus. Look, it's got chin. It's got eye sockets cheekbones literally like a skull I think it's awesome but there's not only one of them there's two of them and the other one's bigger just turn it around hopefully it doesn't drop off there this one again ooh, is literally like another skull look it's like a look two eyes mouth chin that one's yeah I know look at that proper scully and that one's there look you can see it Put my hand behind it. You can literally see the skull shape, the eyes, mouth, chin. You can see it when it hangs. I don't know, it's got two of them on it. Um, yeah, pretty awesome. I love it. I was gonna, someone wants to buy this this week for 15 quid, but I mean, it's probably a year. I think it started it last season, so it's into its second year. But he wants to buy it for 15 quid, which is fine, but at the same time, I'm looking at it and saying to myself, now I've seen these pods on it. Like, look at that. Look. I'm gonna put some googly eyes on it, I think, and let it grow with some big old eyes on it. Um, under here, it's got a real dodgy shape. Well, it's more like a uh, chocolate butthole. But, um, yeah, the skulls are just beaut. Love them. That one especially. Okay, I'll take some pictures of these and post them up later. Hi Steve. Um, but yes, yeah, so that's one of the bonsai. Again, it's a Fatali. This is my chocolate reaper from last year that I had loads of pods off. Jamie and all these. But nice dirty old stem to it and stalk. But again, loads of growth. I've chopped this down a few times now. But it needs a bit of water actually. It's quite light. But loads of growth on it. That leaf can come out. Loads and loads of growth, but no flowers yet. I think it had some when I took them off when I chopped it down a bit and now it's just sat there. But yeah. Hi Jean. Hope you're well. Um, Jean, I was just saying about these Fatali pods on my bonsai. Look at this. Absolutely like a full on face. Eyes mouth chin and on this one's the same if you see that now again that cheek eyes face i think they look awesome it's got a proper little chin on him and obviously that one i want to keep those pods and put them in a little vase with a resin over it so you can't so they don't grow anymore they look awesome Anyway, um, back to what I was doing. 
This is one from Jean, actually. This be the 7 pot BBG Black. I need to pot this up real soon. It, it's grown lovely, but um, I need to pot it up because I want to see what that one does. This one, I took all my leaves off today. I, I gave it a feed the other day of um, Chili Focus, but all the leaves went brown tipped, so I just pulled them off. Um, so we'll see if that one comes back. It, it should do, I mean, it's healthy. It's just, just didn't like its feed. <laughs> Um, what we got over here? And this is a... Oh, the, do you remember last year I had the Baby Naga bonsai and I got about three or four full chilies off it and used them in me, um... I used them in me chili jams. Um, but there's more grown this year. Nice. Another pod just set here. A few more flowers on it. Yeah, and a few there and there. But yeah, from a tiny little snapped off branch off another bonsai Naga that I had. I rooted it and now the roots are starting to take a bit of shape to them. Sort of expose them a bit more every now and then. But yeah, those uh they are, I like I love my little bonsais. Um but yeah, it's getting there slowly. It doesn't grow too fast, but it is only a small little stalk, so we'll see. And if it gets too gangly I chop them off anyway. So yeah, it is what it is. We'll see in the baby nugger. That's about it. To be honest, people. Yeah, that's about all of them. Got more there. Happy days. Anywho, let's spin round. Peace out. Here I am, acting cool, and uh, being a fool. Bye.